This video is to show you how to replace the screen on a Lenovo IdeaPad Z570. Um, all you should need is a small screwdriver, a Phillips head, maybe a small slotted head just uh, to do a little prying if you need, and maybe some tape, but other than that you shouldn't need any tools. Um, so the first thing you have to do is take off this plastic frame around the screen. Um, and to do that, there's two screws in the bottom corners over here with little rubber coverings. So just use your slotted screwdriver to try and pry those off. And I, I stick them up in the corners just so I won't lose them. And then after that, it's two Phillips screws in there, so you want to tilt the screen all the way back and take those two screws out. They shouldn't be in there very tight but be careful that you don't strip them or anything. And once you have those two out, you just need to reach in with your fingertips at the edge of the screen and just pop the plastic off. It should come out pretty easily. If it gets stuck, you don't want to force it. Just make sure you're not going to break it, but you're not going to hurt the screen any because it's already broken. So you don't have to worry about putting pressure on that. The frame should come off pretty easy. Set that aside. All right, now you have two screws up here that hold the metal frame to the back plate. And then there's four screws at the bottom to hold the hinges. So first what you want to do is remove these two top screws in the corners. Again, they shouldn't be too tight. Just make sure that you don't strip them. Now you can see the screen is um, not attached at the top anymore. So now you want to, these four screws at the bottom, you want to loosen them, but don't take them all the way out or you'll just create more work for yourself. So you loosen them a couple turns each. Um, so you'll be able to get to the next set of screws. As soon as you take these two top corner screws out and loosen the bottoms, you want to make sure that the cable for your webcam isn't stuck to the back of the screen. See, once they're loose, you should be able to see the next two screws. There's two, one up here and one down here on both sides. Um, so now that you have that loose, you can get in there and take those two out. Now that you have all four screws out, the screen is just going to fall forward kind of like this. Make sure you don't rip this cable. Um, you just kind of want to tilt it forward. Easy, it might have it was a little stuck, but tilt it very easy. And then you want to pull up this is just stuck on there with glue. You want to pull that up again, being gentle with the cable inside it. Um, I've already removed this one, so it's a little easier for me, but it'll be stuck pretty good, but you should be able to get it off. And the, the plug will just come right out. And it is taped to the back of the screen just so it stays secure. You just gotta pull that off. And then there's your old screen. Now take the new screen. There's only one way for it to go, but make sure it's right set up. Um, kind of lay it down like you had it before, the old one before. You wanna reattach this cable. You have to make absolutely certain that it's lined up and securely plugged in. Uh, when it's 
plugged in, there should be absolutely no gap in where the connection was. Um, it might not go in right at first. Just keep trying, be kind of gentle, and just work it in. And then um, kind of reattach this adhesive. It sh still should stick pretty well. Um, just once again, you always got to be careful about this because it's pretty fragile. And then once you have that stuck and you're pretty confident that it's going to stay, especially this tape right here, um, you can flip the screen back up, back into place. You can screw the new screen in. I would put the bottom, try and get the bottom two screws in first on each side, just because then the top should line up themselves. Again, you don't want to strip these. They don't need to be super tight. Just tight enough where you are pretty confident they won't come loose. But once you have the bottom two in, somewhat securely, you can go for the top two and they should line up. Once you have all four of them in, you just want to give them each of them a double check to make sure they're secure. And then um, you want to tighten the two hinge or the four screws on the hinges at the bottom. You want to put your screws back in up here. This should be the black ones you took out because you have two black and two silver left over that look pretty similar. You got those black ones back in. Um, before you started working you should have taken out the battery but I didn't. So now that you have the new screen in, turn it on, screen should work and it does which is perfect. So we're going to shut it back off and then now you can take a look down here. Once you have the screen in and you know it works, before you put the the cover back over the edge of the screen, the last thing you need to do is just make sure this cable is in where it can fit in almost behind the screen. So right here you can see there's a little hook that it goes up and over after the hinge. Then there's a few tabs and things in here that the, the frame will snap into. You have to go above or below them wherever you think you need to go for it to fit um, behind there. Just try to be careful not to tear or this cable or anything. So then once you think you have it in there, I'm going to get your frame and try and snap it into place. Um, I'll try the bottom first. If the bottom won't go in, you know, you have to take it back out. Might need to snap the corners in first and see if you can't snap the bottom and you want to hear those loud snaps and then it'll be held flush to the screen. If it doesn't seem to be going in, you just gotta pop it off again and try again. It might take a few tries to get it into place. You don't want to push too hard so you don't pinch the cable or something. Once you have the bottom snapped in, um, you're going to go the rest of the way around. Just make sure everything's in place. Should be no gaps along the edge of the screen or anything. And then take your two last screws and just screw them back into place, not, not extremely tight, just so they're not going to come loose. They should have a little bit of Loctite left on them, so they should stay in place by themselves. Then once they're all the way in, take these two little squares you put at the top of the screen, put them back over the screws. Once you get that done, that should be it. You've got a brand new laptop. So, hope this helps. Um, 
If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. One more thing to add, before you order a screen, um, I recommend you remove your old screen and you just take a look at the part number up here in this corner. And you can enter that in or find it on LaptopScreen.com and <clears throat> just make sure you're getting exactly compatible placement screen. Laptop Screen also has a, a tool to look up your laptop model and I'm sure the screens that come up in there work just fine, but I just wanted to be extra sure that it would work out. Um, thanks for watching and good luck.